In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect our two-way audio kit to our pan tilt zoom cameras, also called PTZ cameras. So here's a mini pan tilt zoom camera that I've got, and it has three connections on it, a RJ45, which is for PoE, a 12-volt connector, which you won't use unless you're doing this process, and these three connections coming out, three lead wires for audio. I'll go over the specific connections again in the middle of the video, but here. The red is for audio out, white is for audio in, and black is for audio ground. So the next steps, I'm going to show you how to connect all this stuff together. So let's go over what you'll need. You have a speaker on the left-hand side and a microphone. This microphone is special because it has actually a power input and a power output. The other thing you'll need is a one to two-way power splitter a PoE splitter. In addition, you'll need all these little accessories. So here we've got an RCA male to male coupler. To the left of that, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio to RCA audio uh, connector. Then on the end of the speaker, we have a 12 volt DC power terminal. It's a female power terminal. So you see there's a female jack in it. Now these connections here, they seem very similar to what I just showed you, but they're not. They're actually RCA female. So these take a two lead wire and turn it into RCA. So the way it works is to connect all of these things together into your camera, into the three wires coming out of the camera's audio input output, you're gonna connect first the white wire to one of the power terminals. And if you look at it close, let me zoom in. The white wire is going into the positive, and the black wire is going into the negative of one of these um, audio terminals. So these audio terminals are basically have a Balin built into them to make it easier to connect and more compact. Now what I've done is also used a, a small piece of striped orange Cat5e, and I bridged the ground from the first connection into the second one. So this is the connection for the speaker. The red wire connects into the positive on the audio connector for the speaker, and that bridge wire connects into the negative. So positive and then negative is ground. So now I'm gonna connect everything together. Let me show you actually uh, the illustration that's on the cable. So red is audio out, white is audio in, and black is audio ground. So white and black go to the mic, red and black go to the speaker. And that's what I've just done. So white and black here go to the mic. The black is bridged with that orange stripe wire going into the negative, and the red is going to the positive for the speaker. So let's connect everything together. So what I'll do is first, I'm going to connect the audio connections to make it easier for you to see. On the speaker, I connect the 3.5 millimeter jack into the end of that, and then the RCA male to male coupler on the microphones audio connection in there. So now I'll connect both RCA audio connections in the appropriate ones. So that one's actually for the speaker and that one's for the mic in my case. Okay, so mic is connected. Now let's connect the speaker. So I'm just going to get that done. Now, since we have the audio connected now, the only thing left is power. So that's a little bit tricky. A lot of people don't understand how to do that exactly. You could run an independent 12 volt power source to each, but that what I'm looking at right now is the power input and power output from the mic. The so power output from the mic will go to the camera and the input will come from our one to two DC power splitter. So here first, I'm gonna connect my power DC splitter. One of the connections will go into the microphones, the red connection, and the black connection out of the microphone will connect into my camera. And then the other portion of that DC splitter will connect into the speaker. Now I've got everything connected here. So the only tool you really need in doing all this is basically a pair of wire um, strippers and also a, a Phillips head screwdriver. That's pretty much it. This is how everything gets connected. Let me just show you an overview shot. So it's a little bit of an undertaking for someone who's not experienced, but if you follow this video carefully, it, it'll all get connected. And in the end, you of course connect your PoE in here. That will basically provide 
power to all of the things you've got uh, over here and then the data going into the camera. So the way it works is the audio goes into the camera's pigtail and the camera encodes it, sends it over Cat5 back to the NVR or your browser or your phone. And I'll show you a demonstration of all that in just a second. Let me just go over it one more time. So white wire and black wire, white positive, black negative on one audio terminal, red positive and black negative, whatever wire you choose to bridge that gap. So red positive, black negative for the speaker, connect all the RCAs together, connect the power together. The power comes out for basically proper power delivery. We figured out that the best way is get power coming out, a one to two splitter, one independent power output going to the speaker because it does consume a little bit more power than the microphone. The microphone gets power through the red jack, the black jack connects into the camera, and that's pretty much it. That's how you set this up. I'll show you an example in the next part of this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what to expect from using the two-way audio kit that we offer. I have that two-way audio kit, like I just showed you, connected to our IP camera. And I just launched the IP camera here in this window, and I'm gonna connect the two-way talk button, which looks like a microphone here in the center of the screen. I'm now connected to the connected camera. To the camera and now you can actually hear talk me talking there because, because the microphone, the microphone right plays right next to the speaker can actually hear the, the spoken word out of the speaker. So that's why I have, so that's why I have loop, audio loop, but I'm going to have a conversation with somebody. with somebody. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can. 10-4. All right. All right. Uh, can you hear, uh, me, can well? You hear me well? I can hear you very well. All right. Well, All right. Thanks for having me with this demonstration. No problem. Well, that's there you have it that's all it takes all you do is just press a button and you're able to speak to the person next to the camera just make sure when purchasing this two-way audio kit you let us know which camera you'll be using it with you just need the proper connections to make it happen if you're watching on youtube don't forget to like comment and subscribe